We've had a, a little action the last two or three months. We had two doctors move to town, had to run both of them off. <laughs> First one was having affairs with his patients. I hate to see him go. He's the best veterinarian we've ever had. <laughs> Then that other one moved in there, and he didn't last a week. This lady went in to get an examination. He said, well, I'll have to, if I'm going to examine you, you'll have to undress. She said, well, I can't do that. She said, I'm, I'm shy. I won't even do that in front of my husband. He said, well, I'll turn out the lights. She said, well, all right. So he hit the light switch. She took a few things off. She said, where do you want me to put my clothes? And he said, just throw them over in the corner on top of mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, about time for me to tell you a story. I heard a good another day. Porter Wagner told me this. I'll have to clean it up just a little bit. <laughs> there was two monkeys sitting on a limb out in the jungle. And one of them poked the other in the rib and said, I am sick of this place. There's nothing going on out here. It's boring. I'm going to stir up some action today. And he looked out through there, and there's two lions under a tree. And he poked his monkey buddy in the rib and said, Look, there's two lions. I'm going to run down there and kick one of them right square in the rump. <laughs> now, right there is where I cleaned it up. <laughs> uh, so he run down there and kicked the lion and took off running. Well, when the lion finally got his breath back, uh, Y'all done figured out where he kicked him now. <laughs> he took off after the monkey. That monkey was going through the jungle from limb to limb and vine to vine. If he had had a banjo on like me, he'd have killed him. <laughs> and, 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 he, and he looked behind him, and that lion was about to catch him. So he swung over this campsite. He dropped down in there. He put him on a pair of sunglasses, grabbed a lawn chair, picked up a newspaper, and he sat down in a lawn chair and held that paper up in front of him. Lion come busting into the camp. He said, have you seen a dang monkey come through here? That monkey said, you mean the one kicked that lion in the rump? <laughs> that lion said, well, dang, is that in the paper already? <laughs> you know how you smell and you've been out in the hog pen so they headed for the shire she got in there first and she got out of the shire and she was she was toweling off and uh, and her husband was in the shire there and the doorbell rung well she pulled that towel up over and ran down to see who it was and she she peeped out the window there and seen it was the neighbor she went and opened up the door and she said joe what do you want he said, I'll give you $500 if you'll drop that towel. She went, oh, I need the money. <laughs> well, he got him a real good look. And he reached in his pocket and pulled out $500 and handed it to her. And then just turned around and walked off. She picked her towel up and put it under her arm, went on back in the house. Her husband said, who was that at the door? She said, that was Joe. He said, I hope he's bringing me that 500 he owes me. <laughs> one of the newest little tunes we've got out right now, and I hope you'll enjoy it. It's a pure love song. It goes like this. You warm up the voice. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. You say that I don't love you. You say my love's untrue. Well, darling, if I was a rich man, I'd prove my love to you. I'd buy you a diamond ring and a new fur coat or two. If my nose is running money, honey, I'd blow it all on you. If my nose is running money, I'd blow it all on you. I'd buy you a Cadillac and a new Mercedes, too. I'd build you that mansion up on the mountaintop. If my nose is running money, but honey, it's not.
If my nose is running money, let me tell you what I'd do. I'd buy you a John Deere tractor and we'd sell that old gray mule. I'd carry you down to Walmart and buy you a brand new pair of shoes. You'd not have to be applying barefooted the way you always do. If my nose was running money, we could have anything we please. The first time you needed cash, all I'd have to do is sneeze. We'd be living high on the hog, and the hog wouldn't be so lean. If my nose was running money, honey, we'd be a rolling in the green. It's a bugger of a problem that I got. I wish my nose was running money, but it's not. I'd buy you a Cadillac and a new Mercedes, too. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. If my nose was running money, honey, I'd blow it all on you.